All right, Bob, potential some severe weather this weekend. A tremendous number of people that are still without power and water. It, and it's awful. Hot, 90 degree temperatures there tomorrow yeah. plus. Right here, we had some severe weather move through the region. Right now, things are quieted down quite a bit. There's still heavy showers in a few spots. 74 now, 94% humidity. South winds at 3. Right now, 74 at Glen Burnie, 71 Westminster to the east north Evis, 74 in Kingsville, 75 in Aberdeen. Shower activity just south of the city. That's where the heaviest activity is right now. In fact, it's moving across some of the same areas that saw heavier rain earlier. That's why we still have some flood warnings across Virginia and around the D.C. area. One to two as much as three inches of rain fell down there. North of the area, we had a half inch, a quarter inch. Even here in TV, we only had about a tenth of an inch. So it's feast or famine. Some areas saw a lot of rain. Some areas and I didn't see much at all. So there's still a batch of some pretty moderate showers in northern Virginia. It's moving from west to east. So south of the city, that's where we expect to see the heaviest rain the next few hours. Also, northwest, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, all that's moving just north of us. In between the Baltimore area, central Maryland, kind of in between, we may not see a whole lot of heavy rain. But tomorrow, another batch is going to move in because of the remnants of Laura moving through here in the afternoon. So we still have that flash flood watch for portions of the D.C. area, portions of A.E. County. South of the area, some warnings there for flood warnings still across the extreme southwestern portions of Charles County and neighboring areas in Virginia. North of the area, no other advisories at this time. That may change tomorrow because this is what's left of Laura. It's an area of low pressure movement across Kentucky. It looks like it may pass just south of the Baltimore D.C. area with some shower and thunderstorm activity. The heaviest, we think, along the eastern shore and south of us in the afternoon by 4 o'clock, by 5 or 6, it's pretty much done. That cold front coming through, clear, sunny, drier, beautiful day coming up on Sunday and Monday. The clouds come back from another low pressure. So late in the day on Monday, look for some more showers, but it's going to stay quite a bit cooler. Look at the Fujicast, a little closer view. As you can see, even late tonight, some rain activity in the morning, about a bit of a break, and then more activity 10 o'clock in the morning. Here's the bottom region, some heavier activity just south of us, Annapolis and D.C. That moves to the eastern shore by 5 o'clock. By that afternoon, late hour, Baltimore looks like to be in the clear. In fact, after 4 or 5, most of northern Maryland should be looking at somewhat drier conditions. So tonight, still some showers. A few showers and storms uh, could still produce some heavy rain in the low to mid 70s. Tomorrow, showers and thunderstorms, 84. Yes, some could see some severe weather again during the day tomorrow, particularly afternoon to early evening hours. Beautiful Sunday, more rain coming in Monday night, and then some showers on Tuesday. But look at the temperatures warming up again Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Mid to upper 80s may get 91 more day by next Thursday. Rick, All have right, a good Bob. weekend, everybody.